Okay, what about faith? And uh, now f faith, <clears throat> I think there's different levels. I mean, the, the faith will be partly um, correlated to the level of consciousness and also partly correlated to the level of, of uh, karmic baggage associated with it. Now, you go, now mm. when you're an advanced spiritual seeker, which nearly everyone here in this room is, you know, like, when you're, um, there's, a, there's, one, there's a few different things, uh, I'll try and remember. One is, like, when you're at a high level of consciousness, what happens on the physical realm doesn't affect you as much than uh, your level of consciousness. So, some people, you know, they can have their bodies going, and they can be, but they can still be in sublime internal states of consciousness. So they're not suffering as much as you may project their mm -hmm. suffering. Mm -hmm. So when you're in very high levels of consciousness, like the body can be like looking like it's in a lot of suffering, and yet they're strongly connected to the source, mm -hmm. and they can still be very grateful. Because really, you know, when you look at the saints, I mean, Hogan's talked about this, a lot of the saints really, what they really all moaned about was the loss of the connection to God. They're not so much about when you're when you're disconnected from high levels of consciousness, like the suffering of the body and the world torments you much more than when you're at high levels of consciousness. So, um, like uh, like when you're on a high level of consciousness, like someone can put a needle in your arm and you won't feel it because you're still you're off in bliss, and you're and you're actually grateful that as even if things are going badly on the earth plane that you're still being held by the light of God. So that's one thing. So mm -hmm. it's very, when now family and, and relatives and friends, when they see what looks like suffering in another individual, they tend to get quite emotionally sort of disrupted. But you don't know what their internal state is. Mm -hmm. So that's one, I mean, that's one factor. I'm not saying that that is the factor. And the other thing is, I mean, like uh, Hawkins talked about, Pope John, Paul, I think, who was having to, he sort of, his intention, Hawkins, uh, I think, got through muscle testing, was to, to use his suffering as a form of, um, as a form of devotion for, for others. Mm. So that suffering can be contextualized as a spiritual practice to take on suffering. Now that is, um, and that, uh, that for me can be a spiritualized intention. So one's, one's then, uh, one is almost like trying to have the intention of an avatar, which is one willingly takes on the negativity of the world to clear the negativity of the world as a form of service. So that, that would then contextualize, recontextualize, um, uh, would, would give a different spiritual outlook on taking on difficult situations, but would be doing it as, as an act of love of God or grace uh, or the world. Especially those, I'd say, who have like av avatar type intentions, which are, and I, get, I think this comes a lot from um, the, uh, a certain contextualization of Christ taking on the suffering of the world which in, uh, avatars generally are taking on you know, clearing collective karma of the negativity of the world. So that can be another orientation. It can also be a view that, um, you know, can be a very spiritual view that whatever happens, you'll be grateful no matter what, and be grateful to God and the Creator and the Divine no matter what. And that can be a very strong... Now, the word faith, I mean, faith... I mean, faith, for me, can have a dualistic idea, but it can also have an inner spiritual in intention, which is non-verbal. You know, like, I have faith, everything will be okay tomorrow, or I will be looked after, is more of like a dualistic belief system. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know, you're going, it looks like you're going through a hard time, but you tell me you have faith, that it will be okay in the end. Mm -hmm. so that's more like a dualistic thing of faith. But I think the... The faith that is, um, uh, faith can come from, from spiritualized intention, but also one can be at very high levels of spiritual consciousness, which for me looks like faith, but one is at those levels of spiritual experience, which means that one is connected to the sublime or the divine. 
So that for me is that they are more like evidence of what um, letting go to the divine is is sort of a demonstration of that. Is that they're bearing witness to mm. what faith has brought in spiritual spiritualized um, realization of spiritual experience. So um, I th I think uh, with you know it's hard you know also. I think uh, some people may have had lifetimes worth of spiritual practice where they've worked for, for lifetimes on suffering and have done a lot of transcendence around that. So your perception of what they're going through and their, and their experience and their contextualization of what's happening is totally different. And that is kind of like faith because you've done so much spiritual work around it that you're still grateful even as things are going, you know, falling to pieces. Um, and they are, um, but I, I would say from my own experience, and I think everyone will find from their own experience, when you're in a high spiritual place, nothing touches you. And even if what seems to be like things are going wrong with your body or whatever, it still doesn't touch you. But someone else might think you're suffering. Or somebody else might think you're having great faith. Like when I'm when I'm really strongly spiritual connect, spiritually connected and in that level of surrender, like you can stab a needle in me, I won't feel it. If I'm spiritually disconnected and you stab a needle in me, I'll scream, you know, because I'm not connected. So it's like all, I also am different at different levels of consciousness. We all become different at different levels of consciousness. So when I'm more in my ego, it looks like I don't have faith. And when I'm spiritually connected, it looks like I have a ton of faith. So that's also a direct correlation of, of fluctuating levels of consciousness. But there's also, um, you know, uh, gratitude is a spiritual thing. Um, you know, martyrdom as a spiritual thing, not in a negative way, but to take on the suffering, to sacrifice the uh, ego self for, for God's will and for alleviating the suffering of others, being an avatar. And then, uh, and that would be very high, like, look, like I'm going to take on all the negativity of the world and be grateful for it. That's a, that would be like an avatar. So, that, and they have the power then to, to clear huge swathes of collective negativity uh, from the collective consciousness. So, um, uh, ultimately, um, uh, you know, what, what creates suffering is resistance or hooking into things. So, um, so you don't know that, that, so you could say faith is just a level of clearing the ego, so that the world doesn't have the power, even if the body is going, and the whole world's dying of coronavirus, um, you know, and it's like an ap apocalypse time, still one can have that spiritual, sublime spiritual experience and be bear testimony to the grace that comes, that the world, the world has not the power you know, the grace of God has not the power. And, and, and it's also a great evidence, you know, like all those saints and those uh, spiritual teachers who've shown like faith, light, happiness, gratitude. Uh, they bear testimony that the power and the light is not of this world. It comes from a place not of this world. So that salvation is not from the body or what's going on in the world. Salvation comes from a deeper spiritual connection. So sometimes that can be a real spiritual thing, to sacrifice, to give your life to bearing testimony that even if the body dies, even if the world's dying of coronavirus, you still have faith and you still have a connection to the divine. So that's a very high level of spiritual surrender and supplication to the power that is the creator. So it's, you know, so, um, yeah.